Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. Thanks for joining us here on 10 TV plus for a new episode of our 10 weather impact show and I know it's kind of a crummy day out there as we got the clouds. We've had some rain here through the morning and now into the afternoon and it's going to continue off and on and we could be talking about a couple thunderstorms that we'll have to watch as we continue through this evening. More of the storm threat is going to be focused to our south here for today. So let's get into the forecast as we talk about that rain making its way through the area here for the rest of the this afternoon we are going to be tracking that here uh, so showers continue grab that umbrella if you're gonna be heading out the door this evening just keep that in mind some rain will be around off and on here for today and then the chance for a couple thunderstorms not out of the question as well and unfortunately just gonna be kind of chilly here pretty much all week we're gonna be stuck in the 60s here for today and later on as we see this uh, system continue to build through producing more showers maybe a couple thunderstorms it's gonna keep us cloudy it's gonna keep us on the cool side and just wait till you see the forecast for the end of the week but I will say the good news it's all happening during the work week so as we look ahead to the Memorial Day weekend Things are looking a little bit better here so we'll get there as we get through this uh, rainy period you can see the rain here from this morning making its way through here across the state of Ohio. More rain back to the south and west and even a few thunderstorms making their way through. And what we're going to be focused on today is the threat for some stronger thunderstorms well to our south and west as there is a level three risk there in orange just south of Lexington. But it does include some areas that were hit pretty hard with severe weather last week, uh, Friday, Friday night, especially around the London, Kentucky area. That area of risk stretching back to the south and west. Now it does extend at least the lower end risk does extend up here into southwest Ohio. So we will have to watch that potential for a couple stronger thunderstorms here, especially around Cincinnati, maybe getting closer to Chillicothe, but I do think the higher threat is going to stay well to our south and west, but we'll we'll be tracking it for you here through the rest of this afternoon and evening. But overall for us locally, the threats are pretty low, but some brief heavy downpours not out of the question as we continue through this afternoon. So we're going to get another round of rain here around 4 p.m right in time for the evening commute. So that could have some impacts here that clears out. We'll get a break in the rain, hopefully just in time for the Clippers game happening later on, uh, but more rain will start to build in. So some off and on rain showers, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder. But like I said, the overall severe threat is going to stay on the low side. As we head into Wednesday, more scattered showers making their way through, maybe a little bit more sunshine. And if that happens, that's going to lead to more energy for thunderstorms to develop later on in the day. So we'll have to watch that as we get into the evening hours on your Wednesday. Still, even with that, we're not tracking any severe weather, but some heavy downpours, maybe some small hail at best. We'll be watching that as we get into our Wednesday and then by Thursday, more clouds, more scattered showers, all of this wrapping around this big storm system. And the thing about Thursday, it's going to be a lot cooler as we may only be stuck in the 50s if we can even get to the lower 60s here for the end of the week. Now, as we talk about rainfall, could see some decent amounts, at least to a quarter to a half an inch for many locations here across central Ohio. But if we get some of those thunderstorms that could lead to rainfall amounts over one inch for some locations and otherwise, well, the forecast is just for those below normal temperatures, normal highs for this time of year in the 70s. Well, we're talking about 60s and Maybe even cooler temperatures here for your Thursday. Look at that. We got mid 60s here, upper 60s for tomorrow as we get a little bit more sunshine helping to warm us up. That could lead that to that chance for some more showers and maybe a couple of thunderstorms. Then with the clouds around and more scattered showers, only 58 degrees here on Thursday. We get you to 60 on Friday. And then as we head into the Memorial Day weekend, Things are looking up. There you go. Saturday, we're up to 67 degrees. We're up to 70 by Sunday. And Memorial Day Monday is also looking nice right now. Things are going to be quiet. It's going to be a dry weekend. We're actually going to have a little bit of sunshine here through the weekend and high temperatures there by Monday back up into the lower 70s. So a lot to look forward to after a rainy and rather a cool week. But thankfully, locally, the severe weather threat is on the low side, but that threat of severe storms does continue. It actually includes possible tornadoes um, as that threatens parts of the south and Midwest. A string of tornadoes have already left nearly 30 people dead. 
Residents will now turn to the weekend of FEMA to help them recover. CBS News has learned FEMA has lost about a third of its staff. 1,800 taking President Trump's buyout offer. Another 200 or so are on probationary as workers were fired. Now, Kentucky Governor Andy Bersher says leaders at FEMA vowed to help. I have no criticisms of their operations on the ground, and that's coming from a guy who's had disagreements uh, with this president, but they've done a good job when FEMA has come into Kentucky, and I'm grateful. Now, extreme rainfall has led to some of that extreme flooding in Kentucky's wettest year on record, and so far this year, more than 42 reported tornadoes, so a lot of active severe weather. Now, there also comes more threats for severe weather. This morning, millions of people are at risk because of the potential for dangerous supercells. Now, meteorologists say that Mid-South is the epicenter for the risk as surrounding states are expected to see that chance for hail, wind, and even tornadoes. They predict the chance of supercell thunderstorms that can last for hours cause flash flooding, strong tornadoes, large hail, damaging wind gusts as well. And some of those areas that are expecting the severe weather today are still recovering from what just happened even back over the weekend. It seemed like a longer time, but it was probably seconds. Uh, my family went to the corner of the closet and I was in front of the door holding it as I could hear the noise and the pressure on the door. And more than two dozen people again are dead as a result of that weather. Kentucky reports that most of the fatalities and it's in the crosshair, crosshairs again for today. Now, before we go, I do want to talk about the forecast that we're talking about that potential for severe weather here. If we can take a look at our weather graphics one more time, I want to dive into that severe weather threat here across the southern part of the US, the central plains. We saw a lot of severe weather that happened yesterday. This is a look at all the severe weather reports here across the central plains in the last 24 hours. There were numerous reports of large hail tornadoes, damaging wind gusts. We saw winds gusting over 60, 70, and there were a couple reports of winds over 80 miles per hour that produced a lot of wind damage, trees knocked down, some power lines knocked down. Again, these are all the severe weather reports in just the last 24 hours and more are likely even here today. We already saw some severe weather happening this morning across western parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. And as we talk about that severe weather threat again, it is really focused on some of those areas that were really impacted over the weekend and especially Friday night around London, Kentucky, stretching back to the south here around Nashville into Huntsville, Alabama. This level three out of five, so it is a pretty elevated risk and it does include a large part part of the country, nearly the entire state of Tennessee under that higher risk for severe weather. As we're talking about potential for more tornadoes, large hail that could exceed golf ball size, maybe up to baseball size hail and damaging wind gusts over 60, even over 70 miles per hour is going to be a possibility here later on today. But again, for us here in central Ohio, the risk is well to our south and west. The only thing that we're going to have to watch for is if we can get a little bit of sunshine, not looking likely, but if there's a little bit of sunshine that could provide that energy that as thunderstorms build westward in Indiana, they would track eastward and they might may not weaken as quickly as they are forecast to do so right now. So that's going to be the question. If we get some sunshine this afternoon, we will have to watch for that potential for a couple stronger thunderstorms here into southwestern Ohio, but otherwise it's just going to be rainy and cooler here for the rest of the week. Now, before we go, check out this video of some lightning. Just wild. That was some lightning that hit a parked police car in Newcastle, Oklahoma, just the other day. You can see it right there producing that puff of smoke. Thankfully, it was just a parked car. No one was inside. No one was injured, but still dramatic seeing that just that blast of lightning there and just the puff of smoke. And that's a look at our 10 weather impact show here for today. We're going to have more updates coming up later on this evening with Chief Meteorologist Jerry Martz, and we'll have another new weather impact show here tomorrow at 2 o'clock.